Guys, guess what I'm filming? Oh, well, you already probably know because you, you've seen the title of the video. I am making yet another cooking video. Except this time, I'm not going to be at home. Or well, I am at home, but I'm not going to be in my usual home. I'm currently in the mountains. This is our location today. And what we're going to be doing is a cooking video. I already said that, innit? So we're doing a barbecue today. These are our facilities. We've got stove and we've got barbecue. And we've got me. Oh yeah, and my cameraman as well. Do you, Fissa, do you want to introduce yourself or do you want to stay anonymous for the rest of your life? None of it. We've only got like one more hour of sunlight. This is a um, a time 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 challenge. This is a time challenge. See, this is what he's cameraman, sous chef, and also I was gonna say sentence finisher. I wanted you to finish the sentence. <laughs> Do it again. This is cameraman, sous chef, and also sentence finisher. See exactly. <laughs> I think we just need to start straight away because this is actually a time. What's the word? Challenge. Time challenge. Okay, right now we need to collect ingredients and by that we mean we don't have ingredients We need to go up the mountain and find the logs for the actual barbecue So now we need to collect some wood for the fire. There's the wood. We're gonna get some homemade charcoal I'll go down first. So this is actually quite steep, but this is the price we have to pay for a good healthy barbecue Okay, that enough. Why am I taking so long? We actually don't have a lot of time So a mixture of thick and thin sticks makes the brick what other words rhyme with stick? Prick. Give us a tour of the sky. Oh look, I got dried thorns. I'm gonna add them to the collection. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna come back with this. Ah! Ah! I got thorns stuck between my toes. Oh my days, bruv. I've never felt pain like that in a very long time. I need to put this down. Ah! What the hell? I said I got thorns between my toes. Look at the sacrifices I have to make for a bloody cooking video. I'm gonna dodge all these thorns, bruv. All right, so this is the first batch. <laughs> anyway, it's this guy's turn. If there's a snake, you're gone, I can't lie. In case I didn't introduce the video properly because I feel like I didn't. This is a cooking video. I don't even know what is, what's in the kitchen. I'm just gonna go, I know there's meat that we need to barbecue, but that's it. I feel like this is more of a, just go along with it and see how it goes. Look at him, he's doing a great job. Okay, so these are the batches we've got. Oh, we're idiots. We went all the way down there, but look, we could have just collected it from here. Anyways, um, we're gonna go now. Let's get a walking away shot. I'm gonna put the camera down and we're gonna walk away from it and take the sticks. And then one of us is gonna walk back like a prick and pick up the camera. Okay, let's position this here. Oh, this could be a sixth thumbnail. No, it's not. Wow, guys, I'm walking away. This is the walking away shot. All right, so someone needs to go back and get the camera now. <laughs> okay, now running away shot. I don't know why these chairs are just chilling here, ruining the aesthetic, man. You lose one. Okay, so we've got the sticks. What are we supposed to do next? Ingredient one is finished. What's ingredient two? Okay, so I think we're gonna break up the sticks now and, and get the barbecue going. I think that's the next step. So we start off with the small ones, like these, these little pieces, and we break these up. I wish we could time lapse this in real life. We've got this piece of meat. Look how they wrap the meat up. Wrap it up in, what's this? Cardboard. And these are little steaks, I think. Oh no, these are, wait, what are these? Cutlets. Oh, these are giant cutlets. What is this? Beef cutlet? These are lamb chops. No, lamb chops are what beef versions so of beef chops. Okay, that's the word. And we've got a little salad here. So we've got chicken breast. We're gonna dice up the chicken breast. So I'm just gonna chop up the chicken breast and then season it and then put it on the skewers. This is all gonna go. Why is it so slimy? This is not like the UK one. Oh, I just realized we're working against time, so I need to actually hurry up. It's not that much of a speed increase. And chicken breast number two. All right, chicken breasts are done. I don't know what's next in the barbecue hierarchy system. Ah, oh, my camera, my camera's next. Still intact, lovely stuff. More wood for the fire, mate. All right, so there's no labels on these spices, so we need to smell them. All right, next up is the veg. Okay, what's next? So we've got chicken seasoning, salt and pepper and barbecue seasoning as well. And that's what we're going to use for the chicken. Piss off, bruv. Ooh, that smells nice. Barbecue next, one. salt. Okay, that's salt done. This bowl is not big enough. This is the biggest bowl in the house. Okay, so we want to add some olive oil in it as well. It's in a bowl. Why is everything in bowls? Might as well just add the, the pins as well. You get it? Because bowling. Wait, do you want to? Pins. Wow, dude. All right, so this is what we've got right now. This is the part that I don't really like. Nice. What do we do with the rosemary? Oh, so we put the rosemary inside the barbecue for extra flavoring. So this is our makeshift barbecue. We've got a block underneath and we've got wood. And it nearly fell already. This is all we have and this is apparently what's going to start a whole barbecue that we're going to cook in. I think we're going to target the little ones first because when you're trying to control a community, you have to go for the weakest link and then the strongest will follow. Okay, so nothing happened there. We're going to try again. But this time, so we're going to have two. That one's gonna light that one, you throw it inside. And hopefully the forest fire begins. Okay, it didn't begin. Third attempt, we're gonna still use two. Let the flames begin. Calm one, look, the flame has been ignited. Look at me, I'm just adding fuel to the fire. This is the first time it hasn't been used metaphorically. 
What happens if you throw all the matchsticks inside? All right, I'm gonna try to have a flame off with the fire and hopefully it gets competitive. Oh my God, what's wrong? So we're gonna chop some onion. Ooh, sorry, professional. And then we're gonna put these on skewers. Hopefully, fire is gonna start firing. Uh, the, the fire was actually quicker than expected, but at the start it was just not cooperating. I was gonna fire it. <laughs> sorry. Wow, this is so aesthetic. Okay, this is getting quite big. And um, on top of us is wood as well. Should I do the kofta then? Yeah, so kofta number one. I haven't done this before. I've, I've made them before, you know. I swear. Nah, I didn't. Do you want to show us your first attempt at a kofta ever? Is it Turkish? It's Turkish, isn't it? Fix Lebanese. Oh, if you're Lebanese and you're watching this, I don't care. All right, attempt number one. Guys, leave a review down there, down below. Oh, look at the file. It's getting a bit too excited now. Get a bit too close to the ceiling. So we've got this plate. No. And we need to wash it first. So I don't know what, what happened there. Ignore this part of the video. I'm going to go and wash this plate. Oh, it fits perfectly. It looks like it was made to go on this. So whilst Faisal makes it, I'm just going to stand here and do this and potentially get burnt. All right, my turn. There's a piece of burning wood on the floor. Wow, cooking video gone wrong by a brigade. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to get two of these. I'm going to grab some of this. Some, then I'm gonna squish it like this, get it nice and compact. I think we need flour, oh, wow. that's how it sticks. By the way, we didn't add any egg or any flour onto this, so if it doesn't stick properly, that's the reason why. Not because we're horrible chefs. Let's skewer. Oh my god, I felt like I stabbed someone. I really am from London. That's wow. it, that's what I've been trying to do, you flipping bang out. The lighting is not great in here, and I don't have light boxes on the mountain. Oh, look, lights. So the lighting team has come through. I think we're gonna put one here, two here, three here, four here. And the lighting has not changed. Thank you. Yeah, that fire is getting very close. It looks like it's trying to reach the food. It's seen the kebab thing, and it's like, yeah, man's trying to munch that. We get it, you're hungry. The lighting is horrible. Okay, so we've done, oh, the lighting has improved a lot more. Anyways, we've done um, the skewers for the kebab thing. Now we need to do the skewers for the chicken. Water break. It's warm. Warmer break. Let's do a, a chicken skewer speed run. Oh, yeah, do you know what we should do? Do each piece at the same time. Three, two, one. Okay, grab and put. Grab. Onion. Bro, that's a whole onion reserve. Wait, I just used the whole onion dictionary. Oh, look, look, look. Watch this, guys. It's very simple to do this. All you do is you go bish, bash, bosh. And it's going to be like, oh, simple to do, guys. Bish, bash, bosh. Like the video, please. I, w I wish you could see what I'm using as a tripod. You know what? Let me take a picture. I'm going to insert the picture. Just so you can see my tripod right now. This is my setup. That's, that was my camera take, so making the noise. All right, so we've got a whole, what's it called? Eggplant, Aub aubergine, aubergine. I need to turn it around. This side got too hot for it. Oh my God, it's gonna fall off. What an egg plant. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna put a piece of chicken on this skewer and see how well it cooks. I'm just gonna sit here for 10 minutes together. We'll come back to it once it's done. Looks very, very, very good. good. This is what the chicken skewers look like now. And then we got the other ones, the lamb ones. And we got some potatoes cooking too. <laughs> oh my God, chill. All right, so this is the rosemary that's supposed to be adding flavor. Uh, so far, it's not even adding smell. Well, that was short-lived rosemary mm -hmm. lifespan. So we'll start with these. Yeah, leave yeah, it like that and then we can take it off okay. one by one. All right, so this is not going to be as dramatic as I thought because I thought we were doing it one by one. I think, yeah, I think it's better to do it by itself. Mm. There we go. And last but not least, Wait. let's dash some chicken inside as well. This is the chicken from earlier. I want to do it like a circle, like this. That. Ooh, do you see that? No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I don't think there's enough space for this one. So this one's going to have to stay on its own whilst this whole dead family is getting burnt. I'm going to see how much, I, how close I can get to the barbecue without burning my camera. Oh, by the way, update. It is completely dark outside. Guys, this is my kofta that I did, and look at that, straight out of a Lebanese restaurant. And that space was one, straight out of Lebanese vineyard. Flip it, dude. Uh, uh, I don't know. Basically, we need to add more coal. Oh, I just realized we, look, we haven't used any coal. It's all been wood. Is that normal? Yeah. Can, can artificial coal. Can coal, natural coal. That's wood. cold. Prawns now. Go on, lad. So now we're just going to clear the table. All right, we're gonna post and package them. Oh, some of them burnt. No, not my one. My one's not allowed to burn. Can we flex in a kofta like a five-year-old ref? Let's do some cold mixing. This is gonna be, it's gonna be cold. Can we just touch? That is extremely hot. Give it a little mix. I don't know if I'm mixing it correctly. Sending me mixed messages out. Putting this back. Now we grab the prawns and we just place them on lightly and gently. All right, so we've got the beef chops here. Oh, the prawns. Yeah. Give it a little mix up. Oh, look at that, it's juicy as well. Guys, watch the cinematography. <laughs> Gonna put it on lightly and delicately. Test the flames. We have to tease it first. Let's see if it jumps out again. All right. 
So I haven't tried any of these yet. Everyone's been eating them except for me because I've been busy making the food. This is first time try of the chicken skewer thing. Let's leave a review. It's nice, but it's not like remarkable. It's like, oh, this is nice. I want to eat it. But it's not like, oh my God, this is incredible. I wanted it to be like a case of, oh my God, incredible. A bit disheartened to be honest, but let's try the kofta thing. I'm going to try my one because that's the one, only one that actually looks nice. Here it is. Hiding beneath all the peasants. You said this was nice. I did. Maybe your one's just meaty. My one just looks good. It doesn't taste that crazy. The chicken is way nice. I think I just like chicken. Oh my god, the meat is burning. I'm just talking bare. Uh, before we actually set the table to eat, we're going to quickly put the... Because they got a bit cold, we're going to microwave it here. Yeah. Alright, so once again, got a knife. And we throw in the air. We get the knife. And then we go once like this, and then once like that. And that way, that was really cool. you learn how to juggle knives. Anyways, let's see how this goes. How would you like your meat? Medium rare. Medium rare. Alright, I got you, mate. I'm pretty sure they usually ask before. Oh, this smells good. Okay, wait, let me taste it. Because so far I've been a bit disappointed. Not disappointed, the chicken was actually really nice, but I don't know, I had high expectations. Wait, I'm going to spin it as if it's an advert. Like, so this is how I did. Oh, it's dripping in sauce, mate. Anyways, I'm going to eat this now. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. ah, wait. Add audience crapping noises in the back. You know there's literally crickets. They add cricket sound effects whenever there's a dead joke. So I'll be like, oh, knock knock, who's there? Um, I don't know any knock knock jokes. Yeah. Knock knock. Who's there? Spell. Spell who? W-H-O. Who? <laughs> anyway, so so far, the collection. This is the updated collection. We got steak. We got... I don't know what this is. This looks like avocado mixed with olive oil and oh, legs. Oh, this is eggplant. Oh, this is an eggplant mush. So the eggplant from before, this is it. I don't know if this angle is probably not working right now. We got salad. And of course, we got <laughs> one sixth of a drink left but, and we're gonna have to ration this. So I'm gonna try and make this look as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Wow. What else do I say? Everyone give me a suggestion and I'll just say it. What you thought? I thought chicken, really nice. This, demoralizing, ruined my mood. And the steak, I was gonna say abomination, that's not the word. You're meant to finish my sentences as said in the start of the video. Okay, we're gonna go again. The chicken was really nice. This was a letdown. And the steak, oh. Delicious. Delicious. We got <laughs> war rations. We got ole, pineapple, pineapple and apple. Just, just call it pineapple. And bread as well. And of course the barbecue behind. Of course, the, I know you wanna say bye to it. And yeah, that's literally it. Thank you for watching. And make the screen go dark.